Yo, that red devil chemo tried to take me out, okay? Tell me what you say now. Tell me what you say, come again. If you Hey Pink Sisters, welcome back to my channel, y'all. Listen, I know I told y'all I was gonna give y'all an update. That drug was way worse than Taxol and Carboplatin. And even the first time I went through breast cancer treatment, it's worse than all of that put together. If you're new here, my name is Brittany, and I was diagnosed with breast cancer in March of this year, and I'm currently going through chemotherapy. I have three rounds left. Listen, I don't know if I'm going to make it through because <laughs> that red devil, or as I like to call it, the red angel, is so harsh, and the side effects were so dumb. Like, listen, <laughs> That first round, just, I don't know. It was something that I was not prepared for. It doesn't matter how many times people tell you, oh, it's bad, it's harsh. You know, they give their side of the story, which is what I'm doing right now. <laughs> but until you go through it, you don't understand the level of harsh that they're talking about. The first 24 hours after I had it, I was fine, you know? I was like, okay, this is not that bad. They were, you know, probably exaggerating. Baby, <laughs> after that 24 hours, when that 48 hour mark hit, the side effects, they just hit me. Like, the worst thing that I experienced was the fatigue, okay? Like, when I tell you, I didn't want to get out of bed to brush my teeth. Listen, I didn't even want to roll over to get any water. Like, this, my whole 48 to 72 hour mark, I was in the bed. Listen, <laughs> and I'm not ashamed to say it. I didn't even get up to brush my teeth. I literally didn't. I did not have the energy to do so. Like, I could barely get my phone to text. I just, it was just no energy, you know what I'm saying? Until you go through it, you really won't you really won't get it. And then the other thing was the nausea. Like the nausea hit me, I would say probably three days later. Listen, the nausea was so bad when I stood up, it just made it even worse. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna stay in the bed. <laughs> like staying in the bed was like the best thing. I tried to drink water, I tried um ginger, I tried um the the nausea medicines that they gave me. None of that stuff was just touching the nausea. Um, I'm going to ask my doctor for like a new prescription because, listen, if I have to go through three three more rounds of this and being sick and nauseated for, you know, three days at a time, like, no, I need something that's going to do something for me because I was not ready, y'all. That was crazy. Like, literally, I was in my bed. Like, you can ask my husband. I couldn't... <laughs> He was just like, are you feeling better today? How are you feeling today? <laughs> that poor man, he was trying his best to just like help me out or whatever, but it was nothing that nobody could do. You just have to sit and go through it. That's the craziest part about all of this. Like people will call you like, how you doing? You know, how you feeling? And I got so tired of saying, you know, oh, I'm feeling sick or I'm feeling nauseated. You know, I was just starting to say, you know what? I'm okay. <laughs> because you get tired of singing the same song. Oh, well, at least I did. I got tired of singing the same song over and over. But I was not prepared for the way that them side effects of nausea and fatigue hit me. I don't even know if I want to do the other three rounds. That's how terrible it was. And then y'all saw in my last video that I got the, the drug through the IV in my arm, right? Okay, so I know all y'all was like, get a pour, get this, get that. And I, the, even the nurses, doctors, everybody said it. And I just was like, no. I'm stubborn when it comes to something that I have my mind set on. I'm kind of stubborn. Um... <laughs> And I was like, no, I'm not getting it. In hindsight, do I wish I had gotten it? Yes. But now that I'm so close to the end, do I really want to get it? No, because I feel like I'm almost done, you know? So I don't know. But I still feel like in the beginning, yeah, just go ahead and get it because it does save time. The nurse had to actually stay with me the entire time that the, the red drug was going in, which is epirubicin, by the way, um, the drug that I took. Um, she had to stay in there with me the whole time. Had I known, and I had to keep my arm still the entire time, had I known that it was going to be like that, I mean, I probably would have got the port or the, um, what is that other thing called? The pig line, like, way earlier. But do I uh, want to get it now? I still don't. <laughs> but on my arm, where the where it was, it was a little sore for, like, two or three days. And I was like, oh, my gosh, did I just, like, damage my arm? But I don't know, maybe. But it doesn't, it doesn't hurt anymore. So I don't know. I don't know about that part. Y'all... <laughs> y'all comment down below what y'all think about that i know y'all gonna go crazy don't go crazy in the comments about that part okay but um i want to thank y'all so much for the support and the love y'all showed me on that video like if you didn't see the video i'm gonna put a link up here and it'll be a link in the description box for that video but yeah that drug made me so tired y'all and then the ativan that she gave me during that treatment 
Listen, that Ativan made me feel like I was high. So basically the nausea and fatigue did not let up for me until like six days later. Uh, I would say the fatigue, well every day the fatigue got better, but every day the nausea really didn't get better until like day five is when this it started to like taper off for me, five days after the treatment. And thank God that there's three weeks in between each treatment. Cause if I had to go through that treatment every week, oh no, I would have gave up. I would be like, nope, don't, don't do this. No, we're not doing this <laughs> because no, there's no way. Let me know down in the comments below if any of y'all have had to get uh, the red angel <laughs> every week. Cause that is, there's no way anybody could do that. That is insane. Like that totally made me want to check out the game and be like you know what doctor i'm not doing this no more let's just get this surgery and get it over i even told my husband that i was like let's just get this surgery and get it over with because i'm done i'm like tired of this this is crazy i'm like literally putting this stuff in my body and this is just knocking me down like i was so over y'all so yeah that drug took a toll on me not only physically but like mentally i was like there's there's no way i can't keep pushing i can't <laughs> And I was reading y'all comments because y'all would still comment, you know, over the days or whatever. And I was like, be strong. You got it. Y'all was so sweet. But thank y'all so much because in that moment in my bed, in my room, when I was feeling so down and out and tired and nauseated, I was just like, oh my. Those comments kind of got me through a little bit. But baby, the nausea and the fatigue were no joke. There is nothing that can prepare you for that. I don't even think any of those drugs that they give you can... um really help with that like you just have to go through it's like labor pains i don't know if any of y'all have kids but a lot of y'all probably do <laughs> listen it's like you just have to deal with it you know what i mean it's like that it's just oh it's worse than like a bad hangover that's the only way i can describe it but yeah i had to give y'all an update on that because whoo your girl was not ready let me know your experience with that drug down in the comments below not i'm sure not everybody's had the same experience as me but i wanted to share my experience in case that helps somebody in the future I'm, I hope I'm not scaring nobody, but <laughs> I just want to be honest because that's how it was for me. And I am dreading going back to get this drug for a second time. Like I said, I have four rounds of this to do, so one down, three to go. And to be honest, I really do not know if I'm going to make it all four rounds. I mean, I don't know. I really don't know. And when I had chemotherapy back in 2017, um, I had also the Red Angel, but I only completed two rounds of it. And for the life of me, I don't remember why I only did two rounds, but the doctor did say that it was my decision to stop. And I was like, it was, I don't remember. It was so long ago. And you know, your mind is just, your your mental state is just really not there when you were going through chemotherapy. At least that's how it is for me. But anyways, I say all that to say, <laughs> I didn't even make it all four rounds last time. So I don't know, man, I don't know. I wanna talk to my doctor and see like what's going on, what we could do, because listen, this ain't it. I just want, I want the surgery and get it up with. But y'all, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. If you know anybody who's going through breast cancer, um, need some encouragement, some uplifting, send them over here to my YouTube channel. Uh, you can also follow me on Instagram at your favorite PO. Uh, you can follow me on TikTok at your fave PO, but I'm really not on TikTok that much anymore because I've been feeling so terrible. But <laughs> yeah, you know somebody who needs uplifting, who wants somebody to talk to, who's going through it with you know, going through it right now, let them know about my channel, subscribe to my channel, and go ahead and click that notification bell because listen, if I continue to do this, I'm gonna let y'all know. I don't know, y'all have to give me a word of encouragement because y'all are so good at that. Thank you so much for the encouragement. Thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you in my next video.